Hey guys. Oh, just wait a second. Got to fix something. This should probably do it until I get a haircut. Well, anyway, let me start again. Hey guys. So most of you already know this, but I'm going to Japan. The uh, yeah, because let's let's be honest. Who apart from my friends watches these videos? So yeah, after months and months and months of studying the perfect itinerary, the cheapest one, the travel guide for us students in Japan, I've come up with the perfect itinerary. I did not. Uh, I am going in. 12 days, so 15 days, and I still don't know where I'm going. But yeah, uh, hopefully it's be hopefully yeah. yeah. No, but all jokes aside, I know what I'm going to be doing for the first month and a half that I'm in Japan. I'm going to be volunteering in Miyazaki, which is around here on the map of Japan. Yes, look at my really cool map. This is really detailed and everything. So. As I said, I'll be working down in Yazaki. I'll be volunteering in a guest house where I work about four or five hours a day. But then I get the rest of the day to go enjoy the beach, explore the uh, countryside, explore the cities around the area. And yeah, because I'll be working in a guest house, I will not be able to go dive it like in my previous videos. So it's going to be more about learning about Japan for me than learning about. The marine world, the marine sciences, and things that are actually going to be useful to me in my future. But I really wanted to go back to Japan for a really long time, so this is an incredible occasion for me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and one more thing. Before I go, I want to talk to you about how I find these opportunities to go volunteering. Because whether it be on uh, Instagram, or on TikTok, or sometimes just friends ask me, they always ask me. The one question I always get is, well, how do I find these opportunities? And this time I found it through the site, the website called Worldpackers. And so I'd like to speak about that real quick. Worldpackers is a website where you can find volunteering opportunities throughout the world. They have various types of jobs, so you're almost sure to find one that suits you. They have collaborators pretty much anywhere you wish to go so you're almost guaranteed to find something to your liking. Well guys, guess what? Three days after recording these videos, I may or may not have gotten myself injured. Yeah, so um, I sprained my ankle pretty badly and I should have for about two weeks of recovery and thank God that I leave in 15 days. So, just right timing or bad luck timing? We'll see. Guess who's been so busy playing Japan that he's completely forgot about studying for his exams? Not me. who want to go to Japan and are not Japanese, I would recommend you visit this website called Japan Web. It will just facilitate and save you some time when you're going through immigration once you're in the Japanese airport. Hey guys, it's currently 4.15 in the morning and I'm just about making coffee. And yeah, I'm almost ready to go. I'm leaving in a half an hour, so... Come on!
started walking around Tokyo for the first time today and it took me no less than half an hour to get completely lost and you're not hearing anything because of the wind. So as you may have guessed, I'm sitting in the Imperial Palace. And yeah, so I'll show you all about it in a second. There's nobody around. Oh, security officer. Seriously. Normally this place is packed full and yeah, empty. So it's 5.30 in the morning. And as you can see the streets are empty. Decided to go this early meet the crowds and hopefully I can see a saxa with like no crowds I can get some good pictures in and yeah it's also gonna be the hottest day of the week so I want to get that done before it becomes too hot and unbearable to walk I gotta tell you though, it's 6.15 a.m. and I'm already sweat, starting to sweat buckets, man. It's crazy, it's so humid here. That is one of the only thing that's annoying about them. They have these little voices everywhere, bruv. Everywhere you look, everywhere you go, there's always a voice talking to you. Yes, yes, I know, I've heard it the first 7,000 times. There is something I find crazy about this city. I mean, there's 32 million people living here. And then you get places like this, where there's nobody, not a single living soul. But I am just underneath one of the most popular structures in the city. Tokyo, you'll find this park, which I can't remember the names of it, but yeah, you'll find this park, and it's amazing how quiet it gets. But well, apart from that train you're hearing, but and it's just such a nice walk. Yeah. So it's 7 in the morning, it's my last day here in Tokyo before I move down to Miyazaki and yeah, I, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing today uh, right now I'm just, I found a cool cafe online that's open at 7.30 in the morning which is quite rare because really most cafes open around 9, 10 so I'm gonna go check it out and then I'll see what I'm doing starting there, so yeah See you then.
but the next stop is Narita Airport to go down to Miyazaki. So this concludes the first part of my trip. It was just a simple introduction to what I'll be doing in Japan. And yeah, I'll see you in the next part. See you then.